Hello dear EVO user. The last time we ended after reviewing the different sources where you can get luminaires from. Most importantly, all the plugins, no matter if offline or online, may be used. As an alternative, you may import these files or you can use those which can be sourced from LoomSearch, the preferable search engine for lighting planners. Well, this is our project. Now let's assume we have found all the right luminaires and we intend to insert them into our project. That is just as easy as ABC or 123. Let's try that out by placing a floor standing luminaire, which you can select from those which you have in your history list. Drag and drop. Well then, let's have a look at the arrangements we are offered. We can select a downlight and try them all. First, a rectangular arrangement. A line, a square field, and there you are with the arrangement. Here you can define the grid lines. 3 by 2, 4 by 3. This way you can define the quantity of luminaries in your arrangement. Now the same with a polygonal arrangement. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 points close polygon by right click. Then you still may change the grid lines. And you're using the complete surface you have marked and those luminaires which are outside of this surface will be automatically cancelled. Let's delete these to make room for a circular arrangement. You mark the center, then the radius, and here you may insert the quantity. It's very simple. Same thing for a line arrangement. You define two points from A to B, insert there the quantity, Automatically the distance is changed. Let's have a closer look at this one. We have detailed options here on the left. Quantity, distance and length speak for themselves. But what about these icons here? If you move over them, their function is described in a few words. To try them out, I would suggest to use a different kind of fixture. Select the luminaire, replace the selected luminaires. We may use one of those, for example, which are longer. Apply confirms the replacement. The height needs to be recalculated. By the way, these icons symbolize rotating left or right. Hidden behind the small triangle, you may adjust the rotation to any other value in between. But back to the arrangement. We should make the original line visible again. That can be done with the help of this icon. Here you see the first and last point. It's just next to moving and the turning icon. Now let's click option 1, 2 and 3 again. You always keep the equal distance between the lights, but the reference is adjusted differently. More to the bottom, you have more general options regarding the mounting type, the suspension, the allowance of constant light is also made possible here, which is needed for a proper energy calculation. What we have done here can be used with some more options when using a polygonal arrangement. The other room on the other side of the building seems more suitable for that task. A light, an area is marked. You can see here a grid which can now then be manipulated manually. The quantity of 4 by 2 is just perfect. Now you can adjust the arrangement by using these fine grid lines. So you don't have to keep the equal distance all the time. The arrangement 
remains an arrangement, nonetheless. If you want to return to that function, you have to use this icon, which you can also find here at the top of the screen. You may have seen the magic wand icon here on the left. This one is suitable to rely on the computer for the placement of lights into a room based on the parameters which you have inserted before when describing the utilization profile. You can see here the target that you have been aiming at has been met perfectly with the luminaires you've selected if you rely on the calculation which Dialogs Evo has done for you. Well, there are more options than this. Now to one other detail. If you not click just once, but twice on an object, you can select the single fixture out of the group. As such, it may be pushed around or it may be deleted. And still, the group remains intact. If you then decide to use the grid lines again and to move the lines, almost magically the original fixtures return again into the arrangement. There is another aspect of clicking once or twice onto a luminaire. Let's try something different. I have selected this luminaire to show you another function. A line arrangement three luminaires. Let's look at this in the three-dimensional view. I've clicked once on the arrangement, I click a second time on the arrangement that activates a single luminaire and if you're using direct visualization of light you can see the result of that immediately and if you click a third time on the luminaire and that luminaire has this icon you may adjust parts of the luminaire. You may turn it, or if the luminaire allows it with a second joint, you may adjust the angle in detail. A very helpful function for fine arrangement of objects. On this option and other details, I will report you on a future issue. Enjoy working with Evo, enjoy the good results, and thank you for listening. My name is Michael Imicke and I'm looking forward to see you again in one of the forthcoming video clips. Goodbye.